Welcome back to my channel and to the 23rd day of my Arttober challenge. It's the 26th? Oh. Well... Uh... As you can see, I took the weekend off again. Except I didn't because I still filmed Friday and Saturday. I just didn't want to keep uploading silent speed paint style videos since I didn't have space nor time to record audio over the weekend. Which means my Monday is filled with recording. Lots and lots of recording. I'm probably skipping Sunday's upload though because the prompt I got when I generated it wasn't really speaking to me in any particular way. Particular way. <laughs> but we'll see what I have the energy for. I have a lot of deadlines for other things coming up for the end of October, so I might just skip a few days to get myself in order and then complete the month with the last two or three days. Like I said, we'll see. Anyway, if you want to watch the previous videos, I've linked them down below and they will be in the Arttober 2020 playlist. I explain how this works in earlier videos, but essentially I'm randomizing a bunch of prompts and palettes. So today I spun the wheel and it landed on my own list. I randomized the day number and got day 31, which is the prompt misery, which is kind of how I've been feeling. So, you know, I then flipped a coin and got heads for set A, and the random number I got was 11, which has all the origin in it that I could ever want. It's a bit of an upbeat palette for the prompt, but I'll make do with it the best I can. I didn't feel like drawing a face today, otherwise I would have gone with a portrait of someone crying with detailed tears and a pained expression. Instead, I went in the total opposite direction and decided not to show a face at all. Since another thing I have to work on is body proportions and sitting poses, I went in that direction. I already had a fairly good idea and went with it, though when it came to finalizing the sketch on the other paper, I decided it needed to be a bit more dynamic, thus why I drew the other leg outstretched. I kept trying to measure the legs to make sure they were equal, but if I'm being honest, I think it still probably came out just a little off. But at least it looks like a leg, so I'll count that as a small victory. I have a fair amount of red and orange markers, so getting the right colors wasn't all that hard. But this one marker... <laughs> this one marker. So I recently bought a set of artist loft markers labeled pastels, right? Right. So the orange in this set should have been, you know, light and pastel, right? I think someone at the company messed up marker sets when creating them because this orange is a bright neon orange, like brighter than a traffic cone orange. I knew this when I picked the color, I knew it was going to be that neon, but it matched when I held it up to the color palette, yet I didn't think about how bright it would be in comparison to the other markers. I tried using it for the tights, but it wasn't working for me, it was just a little too bright, you know? So the tights got a lot of color added onto them before I finally gave up and used a colorless blender to try and blend the shadows into a nicer gradient. Kinda worked, kinda didn't, so it is what it is. I also used the lightest marker for the skin tone first, which, uh, it was a bad idea. It was really, really yellow. I tried to adjust it, but it wasn't working, so I just used the dark umber that I was originally using to darken the other red. I'll count it as still being part of the color scheme. I didn't do a whole lot of shading for this piece, and I probably could have added more to the hair, but it wasn't exactly on my mind when I was working on it. I will admit, though, that I did break the color scheme shortly after to shade the ground she sat on with just like a gray to make the yellow square of the background feel like it was casting some light on her. Not much, but I definitely think it added to it. I'll have to work on lighting in the future, though, because I'm not great at it. That's it for day 23 of my Arttober challenge. It was a nice exercise in posing and anatomy, and I don't think it came out too bad. So remember to like the video if you enjoyed this, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Bye bye!